Joining us now here at five, I'm Colin Mayfield and I'm Vanessa Rufus. Right now, as students return to school, there is a renewed focus on getting there safely. And tonight, the Fort Mill School District says they've filed a petition to SCDOT to provide a safer path for students walking to and from school. And now we wanted to get you a look at where these students actually walk. Now, keep in mind the traffic is alongside there moving 55 miles per hour. There is no walking path here. Now the district is asking the state to step in. WCNC Charlotte reporter Anna King joining us live now in Fort Mill. Anna, you've been following this story throughout the day. What can you tell us about this? Well, just a few hours ago, school let out here and students had to walk this highway and try to avoid traffic in the process. Now, parents in the district have been asking for a sidewalk here, light under this overpass and for this grass to remain cut all again, just to try to prevent a tragedy. Students in Fort Mill playing a game of tag with cars. We'd love to see increased walking in that area, um, but unfortunately that is going to take a little bit of work. The Fort Mill School District has done what they can to provide safe walking paths for students like sidewalks within the school zone. But once you're outside of that school zone, which stretches just a mile and a half, any additional safety measures become the state's responsibility. Like cutting back some of the hedges, making sure that the uh, ground cover gets cleared so that it is safe to walk there, possibly adding sidewalk, uh, lighting under the overpass. That's just some of what residents in the district have been asking for from SCDOT. However, I received a statement from SCDOT who told me nothing has been planned for the area. So right now, students are left looking both ways and just hoping to get where they're going safely. Yeah, the district also told me they're working to try to get the speed limit down from 55 to 25 as a, just another way to keep these students safe. For now, here live in Fort Mill, Anna King, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Anna. Thank